This is a toilet paper, a household item that's always in demand, especially during tough times. This evergreen product that has never failed to keep us clean. Evergreen means it generates strong and predictable sales even during recession. Today, we're pitting toilet paper against a new challenger in the recession-proof battle, YouTubers. While toilet paper may be a staple item in most households, YouTubers have become increasingly popular in recent years, with many turning their hobby into a full-time career. They've amassed millions of subscribers, built empires from their channels, and even became millionaires from their content. With the pandemic forcing many to stay indoors and turning to the internet for entertainment, YouTubers saw a surge in views and subscribers. But with the global economy taking a hit, will they be able to sustain their success and continue to thrive? So we're putting YouTubers to the test to see if they can withstand the challenges of a recession. Will they come out on top as the ultimate evergreen item or will they crumble like a sheet of toilet paper? But wait a minute, why are you even watching this video? Are you really just here to see if toilet paper can take down the mighty YouTubers? Come on friend, you can do better than that. If you're here to learn how to beat the recession and take your business to the next level, then you're in the right place. This channel is all about learning marketing in a fun and engaging way. And we're going to show you how to hack the recession from a marketing perspective. So if you're ready to become a recession-proof marketing mastermind, hit that subscribe button now. Alright folks, before we crown a champion in this ultimate showdown, we need to establish some ground rules. The first thing we're going to do is establish a set of metrics to score both toilet paper and YouTubers. These metrics will help us determine which product is more recession-proof and evergreen. After analyzing the data, we'll choose a winner in each category. Our first metric will be demand during both normal and recession times, which will help us measure evergreenness. Can you imagine a time before TP? It's hard to believe, but before the 1800s, people used all kinds of crazy things to clean up after doing their business. From leaves to seashells, folks got creative in some truly bizarre ways. But don't worry, we won't get into the nitty gritty details. Fast forward to today and toilet paper has become a household staple. We're so used to it, we don't even think about it anymore. That is, until the pandemic hit. Suddenly TP was like gold dust. Shelves were empty and people were fighting over the last rolls like it was a life or death situation. It was a weird time to say the least. According to a report by Grandview Research, the global toilet paper market's size was valued at $64.6 billion in 2019 and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 3.5% from 2020 to 2027. And now on to our other contender, YouTubers. These guys and gals have taken the world by storm, building empires out of their bedrooms with nothing but a camera and some personality. It's pretty amazing, really. We've got makeup gurus, gamers, comedians, and everything in between. Some YouTubers even have more subscribers than the population of entire countries. So how do they do it? Well, it's all about the content. Just like toilet paper, YouTubers have to be adaptable and versatile to stay on top. They need to be funny, interesting, informative, and most importantly, entertaining. It's not easy, but the best YouTubers make it look like a breeze. According to a report by the Pew Research Center, the percentage of adults in the United States who use YouTube rose from 73% in 2019 to 81% in 2021. Unlike many other businesses, YouTubers have actually thrived during lockdowns. When restaurants got shut down during lockdowns, content consumption went up. But will people continue to watch content during a recession this year? The answer is yes, they will. Content consumption is actually skyrocketing. In down economies, people watch more content. They are looking for more chances to escape, more opportunities to learn new skills. During tough economic times, people tend to consume more content, giving YouTubers an advantage over toilet paper. While the demand for toilet paper may be stable, unless there's a sudden outbreak of ahem, intestinal distress, the demand for content consumption can increase significantly in times of hardship, giving YouTubers an edge in the recession battle. With this advantage, YouTubers have taken the lead with a score of 1 to 0. Toilet paper may need to up its game if it wants to compete. Now let's talk about timelessness. Toilet paper may seem like a mundane item, but it has proven to be a constant necessity in our lives. It has remained relevant for centuries and shows no signs of becoming outdated. YouTubers, on the other hand, have a shorter lifespan. Trends and viral videos come and go, and channels that were once popular can quickly become irrelevant. 
However, successful YouTubers have shown the ability to adapt and stay relevant by diversifying their content and engaging with their audience. This makes it a tough decision, but we ultimately award the point to toilet paper. Next, let's consider adaptability. Toilet paper's usefulness remains the same no matter what the circumstances are. However, during the pandemic, many companies started producing toilet paper with different features, such as increased softness and strength to meet the changing demand of consumers. YouTubers have also shown the ability to adapt. As people spend more time at home, many YouTubers shift their content to focus on topics related to lockdowns and working from home, which resonated with their audience. Therefore, in terms of adaptability, we are awarding one point to both. Moving on to affordability, when it comes to toilet paper, the good news is that it's a relatively affordable item that most people can still afford even during a recession. According to data from Statista, the average price of a roll of toilet paper in the United States was around 0.41 US dollars in 2020. This is a relatively low price point compared to many other household items. On the other hand, content created by YouTubers is freely accessible to viewers, and they can still generate significant income through monetization, even during tough economic situations. While viewers may not be able to purchase products through affiliate links or buy courses, YouTubers can still earn money from advertisers who place ads on their content. This allows them to weather economic downturn and maintain their revenue streams. YouTubers come out on top of this category. Let's talk about necessity. Toilet paper is an essential item that people use every day, making it difficult to imagine life without it. According to a report by Euromonitor International, toilet paper is the third most purchased FMCG or fast-moving consumer goods item in the world. YouTubers may not be as essential, but they have become a significant source of entertainment and information for millions of people. During the pandemic, YouTubers played a vital role in providing entertainment and community for people who were isolated at home. Finally, let's consider longevity. Toilet paper has proven to be an evergreen item that has maintained its popularity and usefulness for centuries. As for YouTubers, only time will tell if they can maintain their popularity and usefulness over the long term. However, successful YouTubers have shown the ability to adapt and evolve, indicating that they may have a lasting impact on entertainment and media. That's why in this category, once again, we have to give points to each side. And this means, ladies and gentlemen, that we have a winner. YouTubers are coming out on top as the ultimate evergreen item in the recession-proof battle based on our test. Now what does this mean for you and your business? First of all, you need to understand that during times of economic uncertainty, content consumption increases. People are looking for more opportunities to escape and learn new skills or ways to make money. This makes content creation a recession-proof business model. Whether it's for your business or personal brand, you need to stay visible. During a recession, many businesses tend to cut back on advertising and marketing, which can be a mistake. By staying visible, you can continue to attract new customers and retain existing ones. Need proof? Before the Great Depression of the 1920s, Post was the top-selling cereal company in the ready-to-eat breakfast cereal industry. But when the Depression began, Post made major cuts to its marketing budget, which turned out to be a huge mistake. Kellogg saw a major opportunity to rise above Post and achieve this by doubling its advertising budget. Kellogg invested in radio ads to promote their new Rice Krispie cereal. Profits increased by 30% and Kellogg became the industry leader. Another example is during the recession from 1990 to 91. McDonald's made a costly decision to eliminate its marketing budget, while Pizza Hut and Taco Bell saw this as a huge opportunity to promote their food offerings. Pizza Hut innovated and marketed new items, such as the stuffed crust, and Taco Bell introduced its value menu. By escaping the shadow of the primary fast food giants, Pizza Hut increased sales by 61% and Taco Bell by 40%, while McDonald's sales dropped 28%. Marketing has been proven time and time again to drive income, and during a recession, it's even more important to invest in your advertising to achieve long-term success. In uncertain times like these, it's crucial to take a leap of faith and not let fear drive your decisions. Increasing or maintaining your marketing budget is a wise investment that will pay off in the long run. Remember, this economic slump is temporary, but how you react to it can determine the future of your business. Therefore, you should avoid falling into a negative mindset. Just because your neighbors or you may change spending habits doesn't mean that everyone has stopped making money. There are countless transactions happening every second, and people are still clicking on affiliate links, buying products, and seeking knowledge. 
That's why it's crucial to focus on delivering value to your customers, as it's more important than ever in times of economic uncertainty. Also focus on delivering value. In tough economic times, consumers are more value conscious than ever. This means they are looking for high quality products and services that offer the most bang for their buck. Make sure your business is delivering on the value proposition. Finally, in order to survive the recession, you need to learn how to sell. If you want to learn how to sell anything to anyone, you won't want to miss our episode on how to do it with AI. Watch the full video on our channel and learn how to master the art of selling and drive success for your business. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay sharp and lead the way in marketing.